So I guess I'm going to be the one to do this. People in the music industry have been lying to you for years, but it's not just the record labels. It's everyone. So let's just expose it. What's up, guys? Brandon here from KDMR Music, the channel making you a more successful musician. Now, just in case you're new around here, we do videos every week. I talk about music marketing, music strategy. I explore how the business works so that you can become a better musician, a more successful musician. And by successful, I mean financially prosperous. And so if you're interested in that type of content, you got to hit the subscribe button. Um, and then make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're notified when I post new videos. Now, today's video is a little bit of a truth bomb. Um, there's, it, I can't, I can't hold it back anymore. I was having this conversation, um, last week on one of our private coaching calls about, you know, what exactly the best way to build a successful music business is. And, you know, my student was really struggling because, you know, he's like, look, I've, I've taken this course. I've taken that course. I've done this and I've done that. And I've, I'm not seeing the success that I want. I'm really frustrated because I spent a lot of money and I don't feel like I'm making progress. And it brought me to the biggest lie that the music industry has continued to perpetuate over the years. And I'm going to share that with you now, because like I said, it's not just the record labels. It's not just one person that does this. It's everyone in the music industry that wants you to believe this lie. And that lie is that unless they choose you, unless you work with them, then you're not going to be successful, right? Back in the day, you know, a record label was the only way you could be successful because if you just wanted your song to be made in a tangible form, the record labels owned all the pressing plants. So you'd still have to go through them to make that happen. So if you wanted to be a rock star, you wanted to be famous, no less, then that was absolutely something you had to do through a record label. But even now, even up until today, in the year of our Lord, 2020, people that work inside of these record labels are still wanting you to believe that you cannot be successful without them, right? But it's not just the record labels. So the radio DJ, the radio DJ in your town wants you to believe that if you don't kiss up to them, if you don't suck up to them and, you know, they don't decide to play your song on the radio, then you're never going to be successful. And, I mean, who even listens to the radio anymore? You can't even drive anywhere right now. Tell me the last time you turned on your radio. And tell me if people are being successful without it. Plenty of people that you listen to right now have never had a hit song on the radio. But for whatever reason, these people feel that way. The party promoter in your town, the you know, the booking agent at the hot venue in town, he wants you to believe that if he doesn't book you for a show, then no one's going to see you as, you know, a legitimate artist and you're still going to be struggling, right? And that's not the case either. We have the internet. I can be famous before I ever play a single live show, thanks to the power of Facebook ads, right? But hey, those people still think they're the only way to be successful. And it's not just them either. <laughs> Even all of these marketing gurus, all the music marketing guys, people like me on the internet, right? One thing that most of them try to perpetuate is this idea that their system is the only one that works. They are the only person on the entire internet that has figured out what makes artists successful without record labels. They want you to believe this because they want to make money off of you. It's not just the music industry gurus. It's not just the marketing guys online. It's everyone. Everyone in the industry has a job that depends on you believing that there's only one way to success. And that's just not true. You can be successful without radio play. You can be successful without taking a thousand dollar course online. You can be successful without a record label. You can be successful without playing live shows. Here's the reality. There are over 42 known revenue streams in the music industry, and there is not a single person that has mastered all of them. 
So if you want to be successful, that's an option for you. And it's an option on many different levels. Depending on what you want your career to look like, you can be successful without any of these people. And no one wants you to believe that because they want you to be dependent on them. But you just don't have to be, right? I hate to say this because I am a music marketer and I, that's where I make my living. That's how I feed my family. But marketing is marketing. I'm not the only person that knows how to market music. Now, it is true that there are distinct differences between marketing for general services, general products, and music products. There's a little bit more emotion attached to musical products, and there's a little bit more pizzazz that you have to have to market music effectively. But a sales funnel is a sales funnel. A Facebook ad is a Facebook ad. If you know what conversion rates are, then you can have predictable income no matter what, right? So you don't have to take a thousand dollar course. You don't have to take, you know, this, you know, slick guy number two's course, right? You can be successful without it. It's going to take you more time to be successful without those things if you don't have experience in those areas, but you can be successful without them, right? And I have to tell you this because I'm so tired of people coming to me weary. They're tired. They're, they're, they're frustrated. They don't even love music anymore, right? It's, it's so much about the struggle and the hunt for success that you forgot what it even feels like to write a song or to make a beat or to just post something because you're happy with it. Listen, you can make a career for yourself without anyone's help, right? All the information you ever needed you can find on Google, but you got to have the time to search for it. You got to have the time to implement it. You got to have the time uh, to really put these strategies to work. But you can do it. So I don't want your budget to stop you. I don't want anything to stop you from seeing the success and having the career that you've been dreaming about for years. Right now, if you want to do that with me, I'm happy to help you now. Just for the next few days only, up until December 1st, I have opened up membership in the Master Music Marketing Community for just $75. Now, the Master Music Marketing Community, you get a few things when you join. The first thing you get is access to our online course. It's called The Next Steps. Maybe you've got some music online. Maybe you've got some music on Spotify. Maybe you've got a good social media presence, but you just haven't been able to convert that into actual fan relationships that pay you in real money, right? And so what are the next steps? That's what I teach you in that course. We talk about how to make sure you've got your royalty set up. We got to make sure your music actually sounds good enough to compete with the other stuff that's out there on the marketplace. We're going to make sure that you've got your website set up and you've got your e-commerce funnels set up. We've got your, mail, uh, your email list and everything set up. We get everything set up so that when people do start to hear about you, you can make money from those people on day one. They're able to support you. So we get all that in order. And then in the last half or the second half of the program, we talk about all things marketing, online marketing, Facebook ads, networking, getting press for your music, Spotify playlist pitching, all the things that you need to generate leads and sales for your music on demand. So that's what we talk about in the course. In addition to that, of course, you get access to our private students only Facebook group where you can ask any questions anytime. And I'm always there to answer them. And lastly, once a month, we get together on Zoom for a live coaching call where I can ask you about how your career has been going, what things have been working for you, where you're stuck. And I help offer that clarity so that you can continue to be even more successful as you implement more strategies from the course. So if you're interested in joining that community, entry is only $75 for a very limited time. On December 1st, that price is going back up to $197 and it would be worth it at that price as well. But I wanted to give you an opportunity. It's the holiday season. The spirit of giving is around here. And I wanted to make sure that you had that opportunity to get in without paying an arm and a leg. Um, now. If you're like, okay, $75 is too much, we do have a quad pay option. So you could get started for as little as $18.75 paid over six weeks. So 
if money is stopping you, it doesn't have to stop you anymore. That's less than, you know, a week's worth of Big Macs, right? Um, but you can join the Master Music Marketing community. Everyone who does so in the month of November 2020 is going to be able to be entered into a drawing to win two private marketing consultations. So check the details. They're in the description below. That's not as important as the main idea of this video. I just need you to understand that we're not in the stone age anymore. We're not in this age where only a few people have access to things that can make you successful. Knowledge is everywhere. And if you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to assemble a team, if you're willing to sacrifice time and energy, you can absolutely make a career in the music industry work. So do it. Get out there. Keep dreaming and work hard to make those music business dreams your reality. Peace.